good day to kick something like that off, but what are you going to do, you know? Where's the sun? You couldn't really demonstrate today, could you? Uh, the sun will be back uh, by eh, Monday, Tuesday. There's a, right. yeah, there's a chance we may not see much of it this weekend, and a pretty good chance that we will see more rainfall. The rain that we saw earlier in the day today, as we check Viper radar, has shifted now over into east and southeast Texas, where it is still very, very heavy. A strong to severe thunderstorms approaching the northwest Houston suburbs right now. But as you can see, we're high and dry in and around the Austin area. A few lingering showers down here across southern parts of uh, Comal, rather, uh, that would be Comal County uh, over into Guadalupe County, southern parts of Caldwell County. And then up in eastern Fayette and eastern Lee County, uh, we're continuing to see some rain as well as that large area of rain that we had earlier in the day over there approaching Houston. That's not all that's falling. I mean, a bunch of the state today is seeing some uh, heavy weather, including a couple of tornado warnings in the last hour uh, in the Midland Odessa area. Cars reported stranded. Actually, those tornado warnings were northwest of San Angelo, but cars reported stranded in the city of Midland this afternoon due to those heavy and continuing thunderstorms there. Strong thunderstorms lifting to the northeast and away from Lubbock now, but we have more strong thunderstorms in north Texas and flooding reported up in the Bonham area today. So we've got flooding scattered about all over the state. Uh, let's talk about rainfall in our area today. You're looking at our storm profiler, uh, Doppler estimated rainfall totals, and really we haven't seen that much. Uh, a quarter of an inch around uh, South Austin, uh, in North Austin, maybe a half inch, some three quarter inch totals up in Northeast Travis County. Uh, we have seen some heavier totals over here into Bastrop County, some one inch totals, same into Milam and, and Lee County. Heaviest has been down around San Marcos toward New Braunfels, inch and a half to two inches, inch and a half to two inches south and south west of Blanco and some isolated three-quarter to one-inch totals from southern Llano County down into southeastern Gillespie County. Now, let me show you something real quick. You're not going to believe this. This all happened this morning. You see those pink areas there? Eight inches of rain this morning near Lake Medina. 22 roads were reported closed around the San Antonio metro area from some of the runoff from this rain on the uh, heavy rain on the west side of Bear County and out here towards southern Bandera County. Look at all that six eight inch rainfall some serious flash flooding in that area today but it's ended there for the time being as well i say for the time being let's talk more about our weekend ahead in a moment a quick look at some rain cooled temperatures this is nice now uh, we've been up in the low 90s the last few days 72 in burnett rain cooled 70 in lakeway 73 in georgetown 69 degrees down in lagrange in austin it is 71 degrees and cloudy at the airport it is cloudy and 72 degrees our winds are very light at this hour Sunset tonight, 818. Mole count today, high. But a lot of the rain today, I think, will wash everything out of the, uh, the atmosphere, most of it anyway. If any, we see anything tomorrow, it would be mold or pecan or grass, and it would probably all be low. There's where your rain's been. Look at those 60s up and down I-35. 80s along the coast, even cooler back in western parts of the state. And there you see your three independent clusters of storms today that have converged into two out here in west and in our part of the state. Now, this was a significant disturbance that the models did not have a good handle on last night that moved through this morning. Notice coming this weekend, and we see a couple of areas of green lifting through the area. Those are upper-level disturbances that don't look real impressive to us. Our computer model, not real excited about rain chances, uh, at least significant rain this weekend. Yeah, it develops some tomorrow afternoon and moves it down into the metro area tomorrow evening. You could certainly get wet tomorrow. You could certainly get wet on Sunday, although our computer, again, on Sunday, Sunday is not real optimistic about rain, but we have reason to believe that a front that's stationary right now will get pushed down here into our area on Sunday. So I think there's a pretty good bet, at least a 40% chance, that we'll see some rain or some thunderstorms on Sunday. Tonight, lows uh, about where they've been this afternoon. Not going to get a lot cooler tonight. Tomorrow, depending on how much rain we get, we could be warmer back up into the mid-80s. Tonight, some showers still possible. 68 the low. Tomorrow, about a 40% chance that you could see a rain shower or a thunderstorm, a high of 85. And we're going to hold it at 40% on Sunday. Uh, you could see rain Saturday and not Sunday. You could see it Sunday and not Saturday. But I think there will be some around this weekend. Still a 30% chance on Monday. And then all of next week, we continue with at least slight rain probabilities. But that is a more typical May forecast, too, than what we've seen here lately. Indeed, Jim. Thanks.